I'm here today to give you a demonstration of 42U's Data Center Energy Savings Calculator. So here we are at the 42U homepage, 42U.com. You'll scroll to the right and click on Energy Savings Calculator. At a high level, we know save energy, save money for the business, save the strain on the environment. But what do those savings look like? That's where our calculator comes into play. On the heels of the EPA's report to Congress, the Green Grid proposed two efficiency metrics, power usage effectiveness, otherwise known as PUE, and its reciprocal data center infrastructure efficiency, or DCIE. The metrics involve the same two values, total facility load, the total amount of power required to run everything in your data center, and the IT load, which is the amount of power required by servers, storage, and switches to carry out the data center's purpose. Total facility load divided by total IT load results in PUE. Simply, these metrics are a ratio, a comparison between the energy required to do the data center's work and the energy required to support that work, such as air conditioning, power distribution, and lighting. A PUE of 2.0 means that for every watt delivered to IT equipment, another watt is expended in cooling or distribution. With PUE, the smallest the number approaching one, the better. Our calculator is driven by these two values. In the initial heading, current efficiency level and goal, our calculator asks for current PUE and your goal PUE. Now, if you don't know these values, that's okay. The Uptime Institute approximates an industry average PUE of 2.5. We've seen a number of values between two and three. If you're looking for guidance on how to calculate PUE, you can visit this link at the top of the page. To start the process, let's go with an average PUE of 2.5. So we'll take the slider over, 2.5, and it updates here. And let's say we want to break the 2.0 barrier, so we set the goal PUE here to 1.9. You'll see that updates there. The next step is to assign the energy costs. Here you'll see a drop down for country, but for the demonstration purposes, we're going to stay on the United States. <clears throat> Our calculator drop down menu includes the average utility rates for each, each of the 50 states. You can see California with an average kilowatt per hour rate of 0.1296, while New York has a rate of 0.1674. This average is a good avenue if you don't have access to your energy bill. Many companies have negotiated rates with their utility providers. If that's the case, simply hit the override value button here and input your rate. So you have a rate of 0 0.05, hit tab. However, for the demonstration purposes, we're gonna go back to Cali using the California rate. So I'm gonna click use state value in the drop down for state, I'm going to hit California. Put this at a 0.1296. Now the total IT load is perhaps most easily accessible from your UPS. In the event of a power outage, this is the total load your UPS is required to support. For simplicity's sake, we'll input a total IT load of 1,000 kilowatts or 1 megawatt. So here we'll enter 1,000 for the total IT load. After that, you'll notice that the values under current efficiency level have changed. The total facility load changed to 2,500 kilowatts. 2,500 divided by my 1,000 kilowatts IT load produces the PUE of 2.5. From this value, the calculator also populates the efficiency goal. At our goal PUE of 1.9, our total facility load will decrease to 1,900 kilowatts. The IT load is the last piece of user information the calculator requires. From these values, the calculator projects your total electricity use over 12 months, your corresponding annual power cost, and your annual carbon footprint for both your current state and your efficiency goals. You'll notice the decrease in electricity used, considerable cost savings, and the greater than 10,000 ton reduction in your carbon footprint. The final part of the calculator puts the savings into perspective. We're comparing cost, energy, and carbon savings on a 1, 5, and 10 year scale. 
If our efficiency efforts are successful, our one-year energy savings will exceed $680,000. Now there's not a data center manager, CIO, or CFO who wouldn't appreciate that figure added back into their budget. Of course, getting to our goal PUE is not without cost. It requires time, effort, and possibly new products. Ultimately, the cost will vary greatly data center to data center, but here we can compare the cost of efficiency improvements with the savings we expect to achieve. And we can easily calculate our payback period, the return on investment, that ROI, that number everyone is concerned with, the number that gets data center projects moving. So that's what we hope to facilitate through 42U's Data Center Energy Savings Calculator.